Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon and their website, and I've included some links down below that'll take you directly to the product page. You can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is by a company called Xbox Go, and they sent this over, and it is the Chameleon. So if you are a sports enthusiast and you want to get recordings of either your personal games or your kids' games, this device is going to be perfect for you. So this is the box that it comes in. Once you open it up, you're going to get a user manual that tells you how to operate it. We're going to cover a lot of those features right here in this video. You are going to get a USB to USB type C to C cable here. This is how you are going to charge up the device and make sure it's nice and powered because it is battery controlled. You will get a remote control that is Bluetooth controlled, and this can be used to operate the device itself. However, you can also set it up and operate it directly through the cell phone app, which is also one of the ways I use it. Where the remote control is really nice is if you have this on a tripod and that's extended high up in the air and maybe you can't necessarily touch the controls itself and you don't want to mess with your phone because it's up here obviously, then you can use the remote to control it however you want. It's just another nice feature that gives you options. And then as you can see, this is what the device looks like itself. So. As you can see, it's just this nice little compact device here. On the back is where you will plug it in. Uh, it has glowing lights on either side. Just going to hold down the button on the bottom here, and that is how you will turn it on and pair it. There is four little lights on the bottom that's going to give you an idea of if it's in Bluetooth mode, how much power is left, um, etc. In the center is a camera. So what is this device doing? You're going to set it up on your phone up on it, and why it's great for sports is it's going to utilize the camera to track your movement. So you're going to line this up on like, let's say you're doing soccer. You'll want to go ahead and put it on the 50 yard line and then set the camera up. And then the camera on the device is going to monitor and use its built in AI technology to determine the various different athletes and be able to capture the whole field. You will be able to do things like zoom in if you want onto like the ball to catch it more. Or if you want that overview of the whole entire field, you can do that. It works on multiple different sports. They're all tailored through their custom AI features, which is absolutely great. Uh, it's also perfect if you are a dancer and you're wanting to do solo dancing. It basically will do tracking. Now, Xbox Go has other devices that do also really well tracking and it uses your camera's sensors. Where this is different is it actually has a built-in camera sensor on the device. So it has a little bit more to it. It's a little bit more precise uh, and a little bit more accurate, which makes it perfect for, like I said, sports. But you can just also use it if you are doing your perfect own stuff, if you're doing videos and you want to watch. Another big feature that makes this one unique is it can rotate completely around. It is on a swivel pivot on the bottom. And so if you are setting it up, which is like I said, if you're doing a dance routine and you're kind of dancing around your camera and your camera's in the center, this device can pick that up. Now you'll notice on the top here, that is where you're going to set up your camera. There is a dial that just adjusts and will allow you to pinch it to where it's nice and secure. This is going to pretty much fit almost all cell phones, a lot of even cell phones with their cases. However, if you have like a thick case, you may have to remove that to slide it in here, but it's fully covered with a nice rubber in there to protect your phone. Uh, and then once it's kind of tightened in, it's very secure and you can easily move it. Obviously on the bottom of the device, it does have a tripod mount. So once again, obviously if you're wanting to watch a game, you don't want to hold your camera and be viewing the game through your phone. So you can just set it up on a tripod, lift it up, set it up. It does all the stuff. You kick back and relax and watch the game. It's absolutely great as far as that. The field of view on this thing is about 120 degrees. And also you'll notice at the top, this camera can tilt up and down. So if you are up high, 
It's not looking at the horizon. It can be tilted down into the field. So it's fully, fully customized with that. Now, if it also does where I would suggest going to the manual, it can do gestures. So if you don't utilize the remote, then you can just go ahead and use your hand gestures and then get it to do um, basically to start up, to stop, etc. And it goes over all those in the instructions uh, via the app. Like I said, it's very easy to set up. It works both for Android and it works for the iPhone applications. Uh, you'll find them both in the stores. Very easy to read, very easy to follow in. Uh, once you turn it on, it'll be able to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. In the app, you can do things like you can stream uh, to like Facebook or whatnot. If you want to stream, you can stream live on their own platform, which is another nice feature. Uh, you can also edit your videos via the app if you wish, or you can just save them, download them, bring them to your computer and make your own content however you wish in your own various programs. It provides you all that content. Now in the app, it also does have a lot of preset um, sporting things. Like I mentioned earlier, soccer, you can go in there and select how big your soccer group is, whether it's a full field, whether it's like three on three, uh, you can change whether it's a youth or an adult. And all that's going to help the AI be a little bit more precise when it is doing its tracking mo movements. But overall, it is a really cool device. It's absolutely a must if you are big into sports, if you coach a little league team, you can set this up, you can focus, and then you can even go back and look at that footage, show your, you know, your team members and say, hey, this is where we strive to improve. This is what we've done that's great because you have all that footage, you have that tracking, and you didn't have to have anybody sitting there holding the camera the whole entire time. For all those reasons, I do recommend checking this one out. If there is something that I haven't quite covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.